Yeah, g'day YouTubers. Tinker O'Toole again here with another video. Today we're going to talk about chip clearance, chip evacuation. And a lot of people actually think that the gullet has got something to do with clearing the chips. But if you ever have a good look at a tooth and how it works, I think you'll realise that that is not correct. Even on some still literature, they'll tell you that the actual tooth will dig in like that. It'll lift the chip up. When the chain goes straight, the chip will be evacuated over the top plate. Nothing to do with the gullet, mate. Nothing to do whatsoever. The only thing, and the only thing that could possibly happen is... If you look up here, there's the chip. It's dug in. It's it's very small. But if it was a large chip and it had a little bit of a, oh, let's just say the gullet wasn't flat, and this is a brand new tooth, by the way. Let's just say that there was a little bit of a ski jump there. Then you might find out that it may hinder a little bit. May hinder. But it's... The chip, even if the chip rolls around a little bit, it still exits out the back. You can find that on a lot of literature. Uh, so, yeah, I don't want to argue all day about which way the chip exits, but in all the liter literature I've read, it exits out the back. Now, when it exits out the back, where do you think it's going to go then? It's going to go bang into the raker of the next... Uh, tooth behind it so what has the gullet got to do with chip removal really i can't see anything at all you'd have to have an extremely bad gullet on round filing before uh the chip exiting under they call this the channel underneath the top plate Let's call it the chip channel, where all the chips and all the fine sawdust will exit. So I think you can clearly see that the gullet really doesn't play a major part in it because I've actually got some chips, actual chips. Now, one thing that's interesting is the chips... In hardwood and softwood are different. The chips are much bigger in softwood. So, well, that's what I've found out. A little bit bigger. I'm not going to put a figure on it, but we'll just drop a little chip there. There's one little tiny chip there. Now, here's a longer chip. That one's actually quite longer. Look at look at the length of that one. And that was out of a 3-8 chain. That was on pine, pine timber. So you could certainly see in square ground chain how the chips could cause a lot of problems. But certainly on a chain like this with a tiny little ski jump, and if we actually have a look at it, don't know whether we can actually see it that little tiny ski jump there that's brand new this is a brand new chain never i just disassembled a few links on that so typically you'll find this little ski jump on uh all brand new teeth that's just the way they're done at the factory because they sharpen these teeth these teeth like this they're sharpened individually before they're assembled so what actually happens is the tooth digs in like that and it just lifts the chip out. And as I say, in that forward motion, because that's the direction that it's going, the chips can't go forwards. They've got to go backwards until they start to accelerate the same speed as the chain. And let's just say that the chain is traveling at 100 kilometers an hour. The chips will quickly catch up to that speed and just exit out. So that's my take on chip clearance. Uh, 
the side plate obviously helps to remove uh, the chip so the top plate and the side plate work together on that working corner it's that working corner that first digs in that real point that's the part it digs into the timber as you can see like that look so you can see <laughs> the gullet to me doesn't really play any major part the raker is a hindrance because as the chips exit out the back they're going to hit the raker the only thing, as I said, that the gullet could cause a bit of problems is on the longer longer ones like this. That's an actual chip. And that is a lot bigger than this little chip. This little chip's off the same bit of timber as well. So all different size chips. I've got a uh, container full of the chips because it was just interesting how big some of them actually are and how small some of them are. And it gives you an idea that depends on the chain that you've got, how sharp it is, whether you end up with large chips or small chips. Obviously, larger chips like this, especially thousands of them, can make it more difficult to pass through here. And I guess that's sometimes they can clog up. And the reason I'm sort of doing this video is to sort of like put a few myths to rest where people turn around and say that the gullet plays a major part in chip clearance. And, and I can't see it. Honestly, I can't see it. To me, what plays the most part in chip clearance is the gap underneath here. And this is exactly what's still. And I'll actually, if you look up, I'll post a picture where it actually turns around and says about chip removal. So you've got some information there. If you don't believe what I'm saying, this comes from Still. And Still are saying exactly what I just said. I'm quoting Still, that the chip goes through the chip channel under the top plate. So there's a top plate there, and that's where the chips go. Out the back, bang into the raker. That'll slow them down. But yeah, I can't do nothing about that. I'd just like to clear that up. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.